Hey, Anthony here with another lesson from the Alfred's Essentials of Music Theory series. In this video, I will cover the Unit 3 review. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a new video. There is an index with links in the description so you can easily find the lessons you need. I highly recommend that you own this book and you're watching this video just to check your work, review, or because you really got stuck on something. Okay, let's get right into it. Um, so review, uh, in two, four, three, four, and four, four time, the quarter note receives one beat. All right, number two, in two, four time, there are how many beats per measure? Two, remember the top number tells you how many, the bottom number tells you what kind. In three, four time, there are three beats per measure. Um, in three, four time, a dotted half note receives three beats. And in 4-4 four, four time, the dotted half note still receives three beats. Doesn't matter what time signature you're, you are in, the dotted half note receives three beats. Number six, in 2-4 time, a whole rest receives two beats. In 3-4 time, a whole rest receives three beats, right? Remember that whole rest is kind of a weird one where depending on the time signature, uh, it takes up the whole measure. So it's cha it changes the number of beats depending on the time signature. Okay, uh, number nine, legato singing or playing means to play the music smoothly connected is what they're looking for there. All right, number 10, on wind instruments, only the first note of a group of slurred notes should be tongued. Number 11, a slur occurs when two or more notes of the same or different pitches are joined by a curved line. That's going to be different pitches. Remember, the tie occurs when two notes of the same pitch are joined by a curved line. All right, that more exercises. Number 13, draw an X above the note where you would change direction of the bow on a string instrument. Write the names of the notes below the staff. So right, since this is all slurred, <clears throat> that indicates one bowing direction. Or if uh, you were a trumpet player, that would be one breath. Um, so that's the change of direction or a new breath. And let's go ahead and just throw those notes under there. D, G, A, B, C, D, C, D, E, D, B and C. Remember, every good boy does fine. Four lines, F, A, C, E for spaces. I say that all the time in these first few units just because people seem to forget that. So let's go on to number 14, flipping it over. All right, draw an X above the notes where you would tongue on a wind instrument. Write the names of the notes below the staff. So again, that slur indicates that this is all one breath, and this is all one breath here. So obviously, you would change the breath right there. Okay, and let's drop those note names. We're in bass clef, so remember, all cows eat grass for the spaces, and grandma buys dresses for all for the lines. There we go. All right, number 15, draw an X before the notes where you would lift the hand on a keyboard instrument. Write the names of the notes below the staff. All right, so again, this is the same as a breath or a bow. So that slur indicates that that's all legato and same with that slur there. And that's where you would lift your hand on piano. So we're back in treble clef, G, E, C, G, and G, E, D, C. Okay, write the number of beats in each example on the line. So these are tied notes. So it's basically like every tie here is essentially a plus sign. You just add the note values together. A dotted half note plus a quarter note equals four total beats. A uh, half note plus a dotted half note is five total beats. So two plus three, basically. Here you've got four for the whole note, two for the half note, giving you six. 
one for the quarter note, two for the half note, giving you three. Here you've got a dotted half note plus a, a whole note, giving you a total of seven. And then um, for number 17, write the correct time signature in the appropriate place and the beats below the staff. Okay, so here we go. Just, I mean, there's two beats here, there's two beats here, so that's gotta be two, four. And then just go ahead and write the counting. Two, one, two, below the staff as they ask. All right, so here it looks like you've got one, two, three, four beats here, and one, two, three, four beats there, so that's gotta be four, four. And write the beats in, so one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. All right, um, this one, I'm guessing it's gonna be three, four, uh, because it's the only one left, but here we go, one, two beats, three, three beats in that measure, and one, two, three beats in that measure. So yes, this is definitely gonna be our three, four measure. And go ahead and write the counting in. One, two, three, one, two, three. And that is it for the unit three review. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe. Click the links to watch the next lesson. Moving on to unit four.